iOS 11 will be released in the fall later this year, and with all of the iPhone 8 leaks that have been coming out this week, I've gotten a lot of questions regarding the iOS 11 release date and its features, and so in this video I wanted to cover the latest rumors on the iOS 11 release date, let you guys know what I expect the release date to be, and let you guys in on some of the biggest features of iOS 11. I want to cover all of those details in this video, so let's jump right in. So iOS 11 guys, I do have it installed here on my iPhone 6S and there are a couple of major features I just wanna to touch on for those of you who don't know that will be included in iOS 11. Now the first is the redesigned control center. If you swipe up from the bottom, you can see it looks totally different. It actually integrates 3D touch a lot more. You can go ahead and just 3D touch on any of these icons. It gives you all new options. Now there is also an update to the screenshot feature. If I go ahead and take a screenshot here, it will actually drop it in the lower left for you to edit and then you can go ahead and just save it to your camera roll or delete the screenshot just like that really nifty feature there they've also implemented screen recording in the control center just go ahead and click the button right there and you can actually go ahead and screen record on your device go ahead and click stop and it will drop it into your photo roll and you'll be able to see all of the recordings in the photos application the app store has been totally redesigned from the bottom up you guys can see right here just by looking at it it's supposed to add some new features there they have added a new app switcher along with a files application that you can view all of your files across the cloud or directly on your device. And Apple Pay is also directly integrated into the Messages app, so you can send money and receive money right from your friends in the Messages app. Now those are a few of the new features. If you want to check out all the features of iOS 11, I do have a couple of reviews I will link up here in the annotation and down in the description, so be sure to check those out if you want to see all of the new features coming with iOS 11 this fall. Now in regards to the release date, I'm actually going to go based off of the iOS 10 release date schedule along with a couple of the iPhone 8 leaks that we have seen this week. I actually did find a very cool infographic that you guys can see right here. And if you look closely at the graphs, all of the different colors for iOS 10 actually represent a different beta or the GM. On average, there was 11 days in between new releases of the iOS 10 beta last year, and there were eight total betas for iOS 10. Now, the Goldmaster version was actually released in September, shortly before the final release, and it was available for six days. And it was Tuesday, September 13th, which was three days before the iPhone 7 launch, that the official iOS 11 firmware was released. Now, so far we have seen a very similar schedule for iOS 11. Right now we are on the fourth beta at the beginning of August. And I do see a couple more betas coming out in August, I would assume, and they probably will only be out for a few days before the official release of the iOS 11 firmware. On average now, I would say we have about two weeks in between iOS 11 betas so far, and I expect this to get a little bit shorter as we get closer to the official release, but I do expect the release date to be September 2017. Now, Apple actually did have a leak this week for the iPhone 8 guys, and they did say that they are expecting very, very strong Q4 earnings. And part of this, I believe, is due to the iPhone 8 releasing in Q4. Now, if the iPhone 8 is released, iOS 11 will no doubt come with it in a release this September, and I do expect that to be the case. If you wanna see the details of that release or that leak, I will have the video up there and in the description. But anyway, I do expect it to come out in September, and it will be a free update. It will roll out over the air, just like the standard iOS updates have in the past. As I said, I do have it installed here on my iPhone 6S Beta 4 as of the making of this video. And it's very smooth in my opinion, guys. I haven't really noticed any issues. Battery life is pretty good. It does crash here and there, but the betas keep getting better and crashing is to be expected in betas, but I am looking forward to the final release. Now, iOS 11 will be compatible with 64-bit devices only, guys. So unfortunately, that means it will be the iPhone 5, iPhone 5C, and iPad 4 that are dropped this year and they will not support the new update. If you have a device that is actually newer than those, no need to worry, you will be able to install iOS 11. But in sum, that is the latest I have on the iOS 11 release date, features, and what to know about the firmware expected in September 2017. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to click subscribe for more content down there in the description. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus website page, and Instagram page, along with my Patreon page down there in the description. I post regularly on those, so it's a great way to stay in touch with me. Also, be sure to stick around for more on the iPhone 8 and iOS 11. And as always, guys, thank you for watching and stay awesome. Catch you later. Peace.